this case, we are going to begin with the shear force between D and C, that is the overhanging end. And the shear force there is going to be negative 10 kilonewtons, negative since that end is uh, overhanging. Then we go to shear force at C. And the shear force at C will be this negative 10 kilonewtons. We add the reaction at C, which is 37.03, therefore plus 37.03, which is going to give us 27.03 kilonewtons. Then from there, we go to shear force between C and B. So the shear force between uh, C and B is going to change uniformly from 27.03 to 